All right, Shalom. First off, we want to start by giving all praises to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakal Kadash. Double honors to our apostle elders, the great millstone. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakal Kadash, Rakadam, to the elect out there, okay? Those fellow servants that's uh, labor in sincerity and truth and faith towards the names of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom to you, Akim. All right, so we pretty much, uh, a couple of the brothers from the GMS SF Bay Area camp, you know, pretty much rolling in the spirit, continuing the, uh, uh, the spirit uh, after camp, okay, doing an, uh, another uh, lesson, coming to you brothers and Lord's will, just be edifying, all right, so we just gonna roll in the spirit and uh, let the spirit flow. Let's yeah, this right is 2 uh, Peter 3 and 8, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Yeah, and that's, that's uh, that's talking about the, the elect, because the beloved are who? The house of David. Because what two thirds, man? They're they're ignorant of it. All right, they don't they don't have they're they're uh, um, destroyed for lack of knowledge. They don't have understanding of, of what's going on. They don't know their power. They don't know the severity of this thing. All right, they don't know the severity of being an Israelite. Everybody want to claim, oh yeah, I'm an Israelite. Tribe learn to the. You got niggas dropping albums talking about the Israelites. They don't know. They don't know it's it's it's, it's um it's uh, uh requirements that come with that and it's penalties. Okay, if you don't if you don't fulfill those requirements, all right. According to uh, Ecclesiastes to uh, the twelfth chapter, man, as an Israelite man, you're supposed to what fear the Most High and keep His commandments. Okay, bring it up, brother. Okay, this is Ecclesiastes chapter twelve and one. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. Yeah, and that's the spirit we was uh, going into this on the in transit lesson on the way down, saying what? The uh, the Lord is, is chiefly dealing with men in their youth, man. All right, and that's the spirit because we had the example come up to camp following that, all right? Yeah, and, and even our apostle elders, they came into this thing while they were young, man, all right? Because it's, it's, uh, it's rare for a man to be uh, uh, up in age and, and come into this, uh, to this faith, all right? You know, because what they're already settled in their ways, they're already they're already indoctrinated, man. Like the scriptures say, it's uh, you can't put new wine into old bottles, man. And, and young men, what have have uh, they have a lot to sacrifice? Romans twelve and one. Somebody can put that out real fast, Papa Pasha, because this is all about making a sacrifice, man. And you have more of a sacrifice to make when you're in your youth and you're in your strength. You know, you have more to sacrifice and you have more to uh, uh, to, to provide. You know. So Romans 12 and 1, I beseech you therefore, brethren, yep. by the mercies of the Most High. Yeah, this is mercies of, of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, bestowed upon who? The house of David, the elect, man. All right? Because two-thirds, they're not going to receive mercy, man. All right? Their mercy is, is coming is, is, is coming through the loins of the elect and inheriting the kingdom, man. They got to die first, though. Go ahead, I. That you present your body to live and sacrifice. That's right. We have to make our bodies a uh, living sacrifice. And a man that a man that is in his youth, all right, he has more of a sacrifice to make. Because what you want you want to do you want to do things who are men. You have desires. Yet you put all that to the side to what to serve and, and worship and do the uh, uh, the, if, uh, the commandments and will. Of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yes, I'm That's right. Go ahead, go ahead. Holy, acceptable unto the Most High. Which is your reasonable servant? Yeah, holy and acceptable. Like it says in uh, uh, Surak, the second chapter, uh, acceptable man try in the furnace of adversity, you know? So the Lord the Lord is, is continually uh, trying us, man. And, and he's, he's uh, uh, it's a what? It's a, um, imp um, getting those impurities out of us so that we can be what? Holy and acceptable in his eyes, man. All right? Going back to the point, yet a young man has more to uh, uh, to sacrifice. Here it is. We're we're in the number one city uh, according to Esau in the world. We could be doing all sorts of things, man. Yeah, we forsake all that because we see it for what it is. Nothing but weakness, and we understand that all this is, is going to come to naught and be destroyed. You know, we're coming back to our. We're remembering our Creator in the days of our youth. Do you understand on that? Ecclesiastes eleven and seven. Truly, the light is sweet. And a pleasant thing it is for the eyes to behold the sun. But if a man live many years and rejoice in them all, yet let him remember the days of darkness, for they shall be many. That's right. That's right. It's dark. Yeah, there's many. For they shall be many. All that cometh is vanity. Yeah, yeah, this is all this is all vain. That's why it tells you what, uh Sirach, the ninth chapter. 
that that two thirds were created in vain. All right, because they're not doing. They're from. They're not fulfilling the, their 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 sole purpose of being an Israelite. You know, really, they're they're fulfilling their sole purpose of being a two third. All right, which is which is uh, in tunes really fulfilling the will of the heavenly Father on the left hand side. You know. Yeah, yeah, that's sick, man. Fuck this place. That's right. Rejoice, oh young man, in thy youth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he, he, we're, we're supposed to be rejoicing in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai with our youth, man. Glor using using uh, our youth to, to further glorify Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? See, it's, it's hey, just like the nigga that came up to camp. This nigga, I've been in this 20 year, 20 plus years. I've been new about this. Yeah, we're, we're you, you, nigga, you quit. You a, fell, you a fallout, okay? You have nothing to rejoice over. Our apostles, our elders, they can rejoice. Been in this thing 20, 20 plus years, 30 plus years, man. You know, in Lord's will, I, I endure to the end. That's still their mentality. Yet they have more to rejoice on because what they came, they came to. Uh, they remember their greater the days of their youth, and they're still doing the same thing to this very day. So they can rejoice in that. That nigga don't have nothing but shame to uh, to, uh, uh, to to cover him, man. That nigga that came up to camp. Rejoice, O young man, in thy youth, and let thy heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth, mm -hmm. and walk in the ways of thine heart, and in the sight of thine eyes. But know thou that for all these things, the Most High will bring thee into judgment. Yeah, because we're all, hey, we're all going to be at the, uh, uh, come before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai, man. All right? And, and be held accountable for the for the things that we did in our body, whether good or bad. Okay? And that's why, that's why what? We're making our bodies a living sacrifice so that we can be find, found holy and acceptable in the eyes of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. For him to look upon our good and, 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 and look over our, our bad that we, that we did in, in past times. Said, but thou, but know thou that for all these things the Most High will bring thee in the judgment. Therefore, remove sorrow from thy heart and put away evil from thy flesh. For childhood and youth are vanity. That's right, man. It's all vanity. The things that we once partake, partook in in this world, it is it's nothing. You know, brothers was going into that towards the end of camp, I believe. You know, you looking back, you know, you reflecting back. It, it was it's nothing but how we went off uh, and astray from our power. How, how much the demons we were in the world, man. Why, why would you want to remember that? You know, if anything, man, you you you're, you're zoning more in on that on that new man. To hell with to hell with that old man, because that old man is a shameful man to look at. You know, uh, you got it, brother. Psalm seventy one. This is Psalm seventy one and eighteen. Now, also when I am old, I was like. Psalm 71 and 17. O Yahweh, thou hast taught me from my youth, and hitherto have I declared thy wondrous works. Now also when I am old and gray-headed, O Yahweh, forsake me not. Yeah, because because what we were dis discontinued from our heritage because what? This is this is this is something that our, our forefathers would pass on from uh, uh, from their child to, to, to their child, man. All right, this is inheritance. So now we we us growing up in Babylon, being bugged out, we didn't we didn't have the uh, the uh, the blessing of what being raised as, as Israelites, man. We were Gentiles, man. So now coming back, we become what newborn babes in Yahweh Shai. All right, we become a uh, hey, young in this thing, you know. Take like it's an inward scoff. Yet that's real. We we become um. um Young, little newborn babes, what to humble ourselves and to flush the uh, the knowledge of this world out of us, and to start start uh, taking on the knowledge and wisdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Hashem through our through our who through our apostles and elders, our guides. You have to have a teacher, you know. It says, "Until I have showed thy strength unto this generation." Matter of fact, can you hop up the next the last verse. Oh, this one. Yeah. Oh Yahweh, thou hast taught me from my youth. And hitherto have I declared thy wondrous works. Yeah, and we're supposed to be declaring Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai's wonderful, uh, uh, wondrous works, man. And the works that he's about to bring, man, he's about to bring even more wonderful works. And he's about to, he's about to bring, bring salvation and a rulership unto his elect, man. Ultimately, all of Israel, you know, that's a, that's going to be a hell of a wonder, man. All right, well, we're, what's happening right now? You know, uh, uh, the twelve tribes, chiefly uh, the elect. Waking up out of this destitute state, you know, just like just like he said in the prophecies, man. What Ezekiel 37, Revelation 11 chapter. Go ahead, brother. It says, "Now also when I am old and gray-headed, O Yahweh, forsake me not." Yeah, that's right. That's right. So we gotta constantly be asking for that repentance. Yeah. No, 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 no matter how long you've been in the truth. 
until I have showed thy strength unto this generation and thy power to everyone that is to come. So we're supposed to be proclaiming this, this word nonstop, man. All right? That's why the Lord has set up the elders and the apostles when they was young. And then now, you know, they're, they're older in the faith. All right? And they're still pro proclaiming um, yeah. this word unto the, unto the next generation. That's right. They're still doing what they were, what they, were uh, uh, what they created to do. Okay. All right? Going, going back to Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, in their, in their old age, man. That's a beautiful thing. Not looking at an old ass nigga chasing a young man's dream or a young man's sport, trying to be a rapper, trying to be cool in, or just being a cool that old ass nigga, man. That's that's shameful, and the Lord is gonna kill niggas like that, man. You got it, brother. I know you been holding something. Right. This uh, this Jeremiah one and five. Spirit. Spirit. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. That's right. You got it. Yeah, and this is something. This isn't something that we chose to do. This is something that we we were chosen to do. Because the Lord, He chooses who He wants to be in service. Because many are called, but few are chosen. So it's not up to you to whether you want to do it or not. It's up to Yahweh Shem Yahushai if He wants you to do it or not. It, go, it, it all goes back to predestination, just like it says uh, uh, in the New Testament: uh, uh, "Elect according to the foreknowledge." Man, and I yeah. looked up that that uh, I looked up that word ordained too. Know, and the, for, the, for, for the word ordained, yeah. it says to give, to put. Or to set, to give, bestow, grant, permit, ascribe, or employ, devote. Um, devote. Yeah, you're given a job, man. Yeah. You're given a job by Yahweh Shemem Shire. What? To be a prophet. And like the brother was reading in Romans, the 12th chapter, and we sacrifice the, the, the pleasures of the, of the flesh and the youth, right? I know me, I came in this thing 21 years old. Yep. Okay. Here. Other brothers came in 17, you know. Brothers came in 25, whatever. You know, look, I'm 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 over I'm over I'm over already 30 years old, you know. But we're still young. 30 yeah. years old is still young in, in the grander scheme of things. But you know what? We, we we dedicated our youth to what? In our days of our youth, we have our strength. We're in our strength. And we we dedicate that strength to what? To Yahweh Shemiah Shah. Right? Why? Because that's our job. It was our job. It was ordained from the womb. It's like when the Lord was telling Jeremiah right now. Uh, dedicate, pay wages, sell, exchange, lend. And what, what are we getting? What are our wages, man? What's the exchange? The kingdom of heaven, man. We're, we're going to be doing this for what reason? So we can get the kingdom of heaven, man. We don't want we don't want the pleasures of the flesh, all right? We're not concerned with going out and, 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 and being young guys out there. Yeah, we, you know, we, we're still young men, all right? But the most important thing to do is work, all right? We get the work done. Right? On Saturdays, we're not out, you know, hanging out with, oh, man, I can't make it to camp because you're taking a bitch wine tasting, right? Or, or, or you're, you're, you're going to Amigos concert. No, man, we're not doing that. We're, we're teaching the words of the Heavenly Father. All right, keep going. Commit and trust. Give over. And this is a commitment. This is a lifetime commitment, all right? Like having a child. And when you have a child, that's a lifetime commitment. But to mo a lot of people, it's not, you know? But the truth is a lifetime commitment. Well, we're married unto unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So that's a that's a com, com, commit. You have to be committed in that relationship. We, we already went off. We went a horn. So for the Lord to actually take us back, man, you got to be willing to do anything, man. Like yo, I'm, I'm fully committed. You know, I fucked up. You know, that, that's that's our predicament. Yet this is ultimately the way that the Lord had it to play out. You know, because okay, man, who has resisted the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai? All right. Yet yeah, it was predestined, uh, predestinated for the elect to come back, man. Yeah, because all this is His will. Yeah. You know? However, way you came into this truth, that was the will of the Heavenly Father. Hey, for instance, it, it was the will of the Heavenly Father for a lot of you guys to come in and fall out. Yeah. You know, but sometimes it's the will of the Heavenly Father to have you come in, you know, get cast it out. But if you're in the right spirit, the Most High will always bring you back. You know, and brothers, you know, brothers that get weak, brothers that get. You know, get 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 uh, uh, disenchanted or whatnot. You know, we gotta pray for those brothers. Yeah, for sure. Because this is, this is a hard life we're living. You know, a prophet to be a prophet of the, the heavenly Father. That's that's a that's a that's a heavy burden, man, to carry. But that's why you have the brother. That's why you have the Akim, man. You don't you don't want to uh, uh, abuse that, man. Okay. Uh, you know? 
deliver up yield produce occasion. Yeah, the yield produce, and that's what the Most High wants us to do. He wants us to go and what? Bear fruit. Yeah. And the fruit is what? The, the, to go out and teach and, 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 and the, with the hope that more and more brethren adhere and wake up and get edified. They built up and they do what? They go out and they start teaching. They get they get the tra- oh they start ha- having the high holy days, okay? Oh, oh they're an Israelite now, all right? They're living their life as an Israelite. That no, I was gonna say fruits meet for repentance, like John, John said. Exactly, fruits meet for repentance. So we're here getting men that are worthy to be to repent of all the wickedness they've done in what in their youth. Yeah. All right, because as a young man, because a lot of these guys, you want to come into the truth at forty-five. You want to come into the truth. You come into the truth at midlife crisis. Oh man, I'm in the midlife. You know, instead of buying a Porsche, you're gonna join the camp because you can't buy a Porsche. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but you're gonna join the camp. You're a 50 year old guy. The most high isn't really dealing with that, to be honest. Straight yeah, up. you may have you may have a man that's in the truth. He's a, he's a, he's, in a, he's a brother. He's that old, but in, on the in, 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 a, in a general sense, according to the scriptures, the most is not dealing with that. He wants the men. He wants you young men. He wants you men in high school. He wants you men in middle school, man. Because a lot of those older men, they, they're, they, 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 they're, 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 they're vile. Yeah. And then those certain older men, you per se, they're not, they 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 won't be prophets yet. They'll they'll believe they can be helps. You know, Yahweh Shai said he like the brother brought out earlier. You can't put new wine in old bottles, That's man. Right. That's you right. niggas like the nigga that came up today. He said, man, oh, I, I, twenty five years ago, I knew all this. Well, you you was an old bottle, nigga. But now what are you doing? I teach my children. You're chill. Where are they at, man? You over here they solo. Threw, they threw like you. You over here carrying a big old backpack on your back. That's his fruits. Where's your kids at? Where's yeah. your family? Nobody, nobody, fuck you, nigga. That's right. That's really? right. Really? Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you, man. Niggas like you. Yeah, because well, what did you do? You, you looking at us like we're young, man. And the Most yeah. High ain't dealing with that. And the, you know what? The Most High set that up as a stumbling block. Yeah. Because he doesn't want yeah. old niggas. Proud. Proud. Because the, 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 here's, here's the characteristics of old niggas. You're proud, okay? Uh, you're you can't old. Tell them nothing. You can't tell them nothing. Uh, they've right. seen it all. Yeah. Or oh, their kids is just as old as you, and they look at you as a fucking kid, man. Yeah. Like they always teach. They, they look at it like they can always teach you something. And you should always listen to what they gotta say. Like they always right. Yeah, and let, and let 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 you let you go shoot somebody. You ain't no kid no more. All of a sudden, you a grown man. Yeah. Well, you got here. Hey, what you do better? You're a grown man, but uh, I thought I was a kid, nigga. Knock a woman up or something. Come on, man. You know, you do man, you do, do man things. All right. Like, like the brother said, like the other brother said, man. Beautiful. Read this out real quick. Job 32 and 9. Great men are not always wise. Yeah, great men are not always wise. And that's speaking of great men as the men that have power. Yeah. Men that are sitting very high up. Like this guy, Donald Trump, he's a great man, but you don't know, he's an idiot. You can see he's a complete dumbass, man. And a lot of these other uh, politicians, celebrities, people that, the, the elites, they're, not, they're, not, they're only wise to do evil. Keep going. Neither do the aged understand judgment. Yeah, the aged understand judgment. And that's a lot of you old, you old guys, man. You don't understand it. Here it is, you on your deathbed. You're, you, you, you're losing your feet. The most high is bringing all kinds of ailments to your body. You only know why. Yeah. Oh, I'm just getting old. Nah, nigga, because you eat pork. Yeah. Oh, man, it's just, you know, it's just time. You're 50 years old. You're about to drop dead. You went through. You had triple bypass surgery. Still eating candy. Still eating. Yeah, you grown man eating almond joints. Yep, because you, you look at our, our our apostle elders, man, they still they still look young, man. They look they look very, very good for their age, man. You can tell that they, 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 they take that knowledge and wisdom and they apply it to themselves, man. And they still in their youth, that spirit, the spirit is, is youthful. They still had a youthful spirit when they first came in this thing, man. That's why they out there on the highways and hedges, Straight man. up. Oh, man, any of these older jakes, they, can't be, be through. they, they can't be on the highways. They can't, man. Do, do you see drug dealers? Them drug dealers we see around camp, right? They on their feet. Yep. They may be leaning against. Do you see 60 year old drug dealers now? Hell no, they retired. Them niggas are through. They, there's always news. There's always a new young guy coming up, man. Yep. Selling dope. And then if you get old enough, you don't want to do that no more. No. Uh-huh. You're done. But we got the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, which is actually renewing our youth. Yeah, yeah. It renews our youth. Okay? We can get that. Uh, every minute is renewed daily. I think it's, uh, I think it's, uh, I'm not, it's uh, willing in the day thy power. Yep. Uh, that's all. One, two, three. Ton. I got a precept. It's uh, St. John 3 and 3. 
Yahweh Shah answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, unto thee, except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom. And he cannot see the kingdom of Messiah. You gotta get, you gotta be born again, as in come out of the womb and learn it all over again, right? You gotta learn how to eat. Well, as a baby, you don't know how to eat. You gotta learn, you gotta get fed. You gotta yeah. learn how to eat. And you gotta learn how to eat. Yeah. Alright, you gotta you gotta learn how to eat, but you gotta start with what? You gotta start with the milk. Yeah. You gotta start with the titties, man. Yeah. All right, then you start, and then you there, and then you get some vegetables. And then you put a little bit of meat. All right, and then, and then you can't you can't have a steak yet. You gotta, you gotta grow the hell up, man. You gotta have your teeth grow in. Same thing with the same exact thing with this truth. From going, Nicodemus said, said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Yeah, how can a man be born when he's old? So he he started bugging out. So wait a second, I'm old. How can how can I be born again? Keep going. Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and, and be born? And he was thinking a literal sense. Oh my, do I have to go all the way back in there and then I have to be born? Keep going. Yeah, I wish I answered. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of the most high. Yeah, born of water and the spirit. This it's, it's all spiritual, symbolic to be born again. Because when you're in the womb, they call it you're in the waters of the womb, right? The, 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 uh, uh, it's the placenta, it's all waters, you know, and you come out that water, uh -huh. and then you come out here to this water, this firmament. And if I can say this too, it's, it, that's, where do you think that they get it from that movie Matrix, man? They had all them, them artificial wombs and whatnot, they had them re getting reborn, Neo, Morpheus is talking to Neo, all right? He had to, get re he had to, he had to uh, forget every day that he, he once thought he knew. Yep. Yeah, yeah, he had to be born again. Exactly. And he did actually, literally born again. He, they took him out the, the tubes. He yep. got, he got, he got, he got shot out. Shot out. And that's exactly what we are. But the water that we're being uh, 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 in is the water, is the eternal, is the living water. Yep. Okay, is it, is the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, the spirit. It says that which is born of the flesh is flesh. Yeah, if if you go back in, oh, you know what? I need to be born again as a Christian. I'm a born again, uh, uh, I'm, a, I'm a yogi. Well, now I'm a born again spiritual being. No, you're just a, a, a different bug out, man. You, 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 have, you put on new demons, keep going. It says, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. And that's what we are doing, okay? We're born of spirit. And you can see if a brother is, is really doing that, man. You gotta start low, man. You gotta work your way up. That's how the most side does it. It's called edification. It's being built up. And we were talking about the house today. When you build a house, it's the first thing you build with. You gotta build a foundation. And a lot of these guys, they build homes with no foundation. And then that next, a destroying wind will come, and that house is knocked over. Keep going. It says, marvel not that I say, said, marvel not that I said unto thee, you must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listen, listen. And spirit. All right, keep going. And the har and the harvest, the sound thereof, but can canst not tell whence it come and whither it go. So is every one that is born of the spirit. Yeah, yeah. You you don't know what's going on. It's a spiritual thing. You can't physically see it, but it exists. When the wind comes, you know it's over, it's over there now. It just came. You can't, you can't, you can't physically, uh, how do you say, uh, you can't see it, smell it, yeah. but you can feel it. But, you, but it's there, it exists. You, you can't Same thing it. with the spirit. Exactly. The spirit is there, it's, it's operating, but you can't be the, oh, the spirit's right here, but you can say that. Yeah. Because what? The spirit is within us, man. Matter of fact, the kingdom of heaven is within us. Okay, keep going. Why, why is that? Because the spirit is with us, man. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, how can these things be? Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel, and knowest not these things? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, We speak that we do know, and testify that we have seen, and ye receive not our witness. If I told you earthly things, and ye believe not, how shall ye believe if I have, have t if I tell you of heavenly things? Yeah, yeah like, so like, go ahead, up. No, I was gonna say, so the Most High, I mean, it's like, so Yahweh Shai had to, uh, had to dumb it down for, for these people, you know? Because he was going way over their heads. 
So he said, hey man, if, I just, if I'm just telling you, I'm talking plain unto you, how much more if, 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 I, if I talk spiritual unto you, you know? It's gonna go, it's gonna go over your head. Just like this case in point with Nick, Nicodemus, you know? Hey, no, Nicodemus, you're supposed to be high level, but <laughs> good, good, good. he, Yahweh Shai was, was breaking it down and yeah. saying, yo, yeah. I'm telling you these things, I'm relating the spirit to the earthly things right. so that you can understand it. That this you're being born again, but it's spiritual, all right? You're being born, you're coming out the womb, but it's a spiritual womb. Yeah. You see the wind, how the wind, as a spirit, you can't really see it, but it's happening. You, it, yeah. you know, you can feel it, it exists, so you're actually being born again, you're actual new babe. You tell Nicodemus that you're a new babe now, you gotta learn, and but he's ready to do that, keep going. And no man have ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the son of man, which is in heaven, and, and, and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Yep, even so the Son of Man must be lifted up. This is good on that. So, so really you have to what? You have to, you can't change your body, obviously. You have to change your, your mentality, your spirit, by putting on the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's that's what the Lord is is basically saying in so many in so many words, man. You know, and, and what uh, further further growing in that spirit. That's why people look at you like, man, you change. What changed about you? Nothing changed about us. Just our what? Our spirit, our mentality, the way we conduct ourselves, the way we carry ourselves, the way the way we speak, think, and, and feel. You know, which is righteous, man. The spirit of Yahweh Shai changing the thought pattern exactly. You know. I was shy. He had the kakudashi, had the full dose of the Holy Spirit, dude. So his thought pattern was on a whole nother level. All right, and all we have, are we have doses of the Spirit, but we're supposed to grow with whatever we got, you know. And by way, by growing, it's by abounding in the truth and in faith. That's how you grow there by, all right, by going over the milk. So you can you can further uh, change your thought patterns on a higher level. It tells you in Galatians the sixth chapter. If you if you sow in the spirit, you go you gonna reap in, uh, uh, reap ever, uh, life everlasting. Ultimately, yet you're gonna grow in the spirit. If you if you, if you sow in the spirit, you're gonna grow in the spirit. You know, but if you sow in the flesh, what you're gonna reap corruption. All right. You know, you're not gonna grow in the spirit. You're gonna get you gonna make more reprobatish moves. All right. And you you gonna get a. Uh, they basically say he's gonna have a field day with you, man. Because you ain't gonna have to. You, obviously, you don't have Ephesians six and ten on down, the spiritual armor on. You're gonna end up in San Francisco, fucking <laughs> out. <laughs> on opioids. Yeah, you'll fucking over. Yeah, really? I mean, fucking out. Yeah, you're like you come here to the city, <laughs> you talk shit to us. Every lot of all those guys, damn, yeah, fucked, man. You're yeah. through. So another hell's coming towards y'all. That's right. Uh, hold that. You had some real Yeah, yeah, brother. Good job, man. Yeah, this is John kind of, kind of, kind of. 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickened it, the flesh profited nothing. Yeah, the spirit, that's the spirit quickened it, the spirit that gives life, man. The flesh, the flesh profited nothing, yeah, man. The flesh goes where? It goes right back to the dirt that it came from, man. The spirit, the spirit goes back into the heavenly world, the spiritual world, right? And abides with who? Yahweh Shem Yahweh and, and in a month, and in the spirit, will return once again in the flesh. And then it will go and return back into the spiritual world. It's the spirit that quickens it. It's the spirit that keeps the light. Yeah, right on now. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Yeah, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. In other words, the words, that's what we're going to feed on. That's what keeps us living. It's the scriptures, right? It's, it's the scriptures. It's not... Because the flesh, they profit nothing, man. The flesh, the flesh is gonna. We're gonna get new bodies, man. All right, we're, we need new bodies. These bodies are done. They're finished. You can't, you can't, you can't serve your Alba Shemal Shai to your best of your abilities. I mean, at your full capacity. And these bodies, man. These bodies are wicked, man. These bodies are vile. That's the spirit. Okay. Uh, uh, smart, smart. That's exactly what you're saying. Second Corinthians four and sixteen. For which cause we faint not. But, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Yeah, the, 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 our, uh, read that first part. For which cause we faint not. Yeah, for this cause we faint not. And the bullets we're bringing out today at camp, you know, you, about not fainting, man. Don't faint. <laughs> the, the dudes that fell out, what do they do? They faint, yeah. right? 
So for this cause, we faint not. Yeah, they got utterly spiritless. They got exhausted because they wasn't what? Sowing in the spirit. They died. They're yeah. dead. Yeah, went back to the, to the congregation of the dead. Yeah, back to the congregation <laughs> of the dead. That's and right. it says, but for this cause, we faint not. All right, so the cause is his truth. Keep going. But though our outward man perish. Yeah, our outward man, look at it, we're, we're dying as we speak. Every every day you wake up, you're, you're more dead than you were yesterday, all right? You take, you, you, you eat some food, you're, you're dead. That food is killing you inside, man. Air. All right, where are Jake sipping? You're, you, we, 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 we're killing ourselves, man. Yep. We actually are speeding up the process of death, all right? It says that though our outward man uh, 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 though our out outward, outward man perish, go. Yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Yeah, our inward man is renewed day by day, which is our spirit. Man. The Most High gives a spirit and it, and it, and it, keeps, it keeps us going. Uh, it keeps the truth coming out. It keeps this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. It abounds. Keep going. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, working for us. It's, Keep going. A far more and ex an exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Come yeah, on. yeah, that, that it's like it, we was going in that camp, going into that 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 sweetness and then the bitterness thereof. Yet we us doing the end of this all, going back to Psalm seven third chapter, entering entering into the uh, the house of the Most High. We we know we know the end of all this, you know. So we know that all this weakness is temporal. All right. And we know that the kingdom is right here, man. Okay. Go ahead up. Well, now it's it on that. Oh, okay. Uh, Con, and then, yeah. uh, uh, like the brother was saying, uh, that last part, if you can read that last part again. Yeah, that's yeah. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment. Our light affliction is but for a moment. These bodies, what's going to happen in a twinkle in the eye? No, brand new body. Brand new bodies. We're, the brother, brothers, brothers, the elect are going to be are going to be translated into the new bodies, the spiritual bodies. Okay, so that's going to happen in a twinkling of an eye. So this affliction is just a moment, man. Yep. It's, it's a moment, and we're going to get through it. Okay. We can do it, guys. Can do this, guys. You're do right. This. We can. You can, loser. Right. Uh, <laughs> that's not that, right. That's right. A little bit more. Come on. Working for us a far more exceeding and eternal way to glory. Far more exceeding and eternal way to glory, which is what the kingdom of heaven, man. Yep. That new body. Yep. Okay, this old body's out the door. Our new bodies are coming in, right? It's just a matter of time before the Most High Institute. Oh, keep going. This is First Corinthians. Look, we can end it on this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is First Corinthians 15 and 26. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Yeah, the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. All right, which means this body, the sin. The sin, sin uh, they said de uh, sin is the sting of death. So that sin. That sin, that, that's what kills us, man. And are these bodies, these bodies went on. We must dip out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, got to say something? Oh, no, no. close it out, yeah. For he hath put all things... Read that again. Oh, slack. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and 26, the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Yeah, that's the last enemy that should be destroyed is death. Okay, keep going. That's sin, we're gonna be perfect. Keep going. For he hath put all things under his feet, but when he said all things are put under him, it is manifest that he is accepted, which did put all things under him. Keep going, which is our Lord, keep going. And when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him, that the Most High may be all in all. Yeah, we're going to be perfect. The world's going to be returned back to its natural state. The Lord is going to be, everything's going to be underneath him. He's going to be ruling in righteousness. And we're going to have perfect bodies. And we're going to be doing the law, such commandment, and uh, 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 perfect uh, uh, natural state. Yeah. Okay? It's just going to be instinctive. To be we're going to be ultra instinct. Which is gonna be righteousness. Just like, just like, just like, just like the inward man is being renewed. Hey, the whole, hey, the whole earth is gonna be renewed. You know, it's gonna be a, 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 a renewed. It's gonna be back, back to paradise, man. It's gonna have a righteous, nothing but a righteous vibration flowing throughout it, man. Mm -hmm. And the Lord's gonna rule. Yeah. And so that, of course, the Lord's in power. The Most High is gonna to be totally in power. Okay. But he, of course, he's in power right now, but. 
You can't see it, but you're gonna see it, all right? You're gonna see it every day, Esau. Most high is not mine. His name is gonna be glorified on earth. I can tell you that in Ezekiel uh, 36, but everybody's gonna know the power. But right now, the whole earth, even though we're out there proclaiming Yahweh Bashanah Shai, the whole earth don't recognize him as being the power of the earth. You know? Bro, we're gonna wake up in the morning of just grand symphonies of praising the name of our, our Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh Bashanah Shai. It's gonna be a great every day. They let them sing upon their beds. They sing upon their beds. We're gonna wake up and we'll be like, and we're gonna hear it outside. Yeah, all, all nations, Hamites, Ethos, you know, <laughs> Moab, all you nations gonna put aside your false idols and worship our power. Yeah, you have to. And, if, and, we, and when we see you half ass in it, you know, it's a roll chariot through there, man. <laughs> roll you know? chariot through. It says, else what shall they do? which are baptized for the dead, if the dead rise not at all. Why are they then baptized for the dead? Yeah, why are you going to be baptized just to be, be, a, be dead still? To be baptized to be, uh, in a little sense. Put, okay, but we'll wrap it up on this. To be put in that water again, be born again. That's what the baptizing is, which is this work. Keep going. And why stand we in jeopardy every hour? Yeah, we're, we're catching hell. Keep going. I protest by your rejoicing, which I have in Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, our Lord, I die daily. I die daily. We die daily. Why? Because we we're speaking about it. We, we die daily. Every day we're going off, man. We can't be righteous. We're trying. We are being righteous, but we can't be righteous according to the, like, to the deep. Uh, uh, like uh, ISUPK dudes. I'll be walking past them. Laws, such as commandments. Laws, laws, laws. We can't do the laws perfectly, man. But we have Yahweh Shai now. We can do Yahweh Shai perfectly to do this work. That's good on that. Yeah, I got one last precept. This is uh, Romans 6 and 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? Yeah, what shall we then say then? Shall we just keep being wicked then? Since it's wrong, we all die daily, right? Keep going. That grace may abound. The most I forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live live any longer therein? Yeah, how, how does that happen? Keep going. Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Yahweh Mashiach were baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death. Yeah, and the death is, is, is these bodies. Yeah. Keep going. And Yahweh Shai, his body died, but his spirit came and, and rose from the dead. Keep going. That like as the Mashiach was raised exactly. from the there dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. That's right. I was going to ask, so we got to put off this fleshly desire, you know? Or we got to cut off and make sacrifices all right, of the flesh so we can grow more in the spirit, you know? Yeah. It says make for, more of a sacrifice. It says, for if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall all we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Yeah, which is the spiritual body, okay? Keep going. Knowing that knowing this that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of it says that the body of sin might be destroyed, that his for we should not serve sin. That's right. And yeah, we're not we're not serving sin or our, our flesh, we're serving the spirit of the outbash and the outbash. Yep, that, that's that's right, brothers. Yeah, with that, you know, we want to give all praises going on there to you. Yahweh, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Right? And uh, Shalom on all you brothers, stay in the spirit. Yeah, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom.